talking about Goyard. Goyard is a French luxury brand that specializes in luggage, bags, and accessories. The company was founded in 1853 by Francois Goyard in Paris, France. At the beginning, Goyard produced wooden boxes, trunks, and luggage for wealthy travelers. The company quickly gained a reputation for its high-quality craftsmanship and innovative designs, and its client base grew to include royalty, aristocrats, and other wealthy individuals. Goyard's history has played an important role in its position as a luxury brand. These are some reasons why its history has contributed to its status. Goyard, it's the oldest leather goods manufacturer in the industry. The brand has been in operation for more than 150 years, which has enabled it to establish a solid reputation and legacy in the industry. Throughout its history, Goyard has been favored by royalty and high society. They have had distinguished clients, such as the Duke of Windsor and King Edward V of England, which has contributed to their image of prestige and luxury. The association with high-profile clients has added an element of exclusivity and reinforced the brand's image. Today, Goyard remains a family-owned business and continues to produce high-quality, handmade products using traditional techniques. Its signature, chevron pattern and timeless designs have made it a beloved brand among luxury consumers worldwide. After more than 160 years of creation and history, Goyard is still considered an expert in luxury malady. Goyard has a wide range of products, from suitcases, bags, small leather goods, office and writing accessories, and pet carrier bag. Goyard's product is a perfect blend of tradition and modernity. Its bags are characterized by being handcrafted with hand-stitched fabrics. These high-quality leather products are made of cotton, linen, and vegetable fiber. Its exterior is covered with a rubber resin, which makes it water, resistant. The eye logo on the bag evokes the tree, symbolizing the three centuries of Goyard's family background. Designs were initially customized and hand-painted, but the current process uses a base color application and then layers of engraving. An interesting fact is that they do not usually launch new models every season and they don't have a creative director. They have a variety of prices. Its lowest price is a $300 wallet and the highest is a $26,000 trunk. One of the best sellers is the St. Louis Tota bag, which has a price range from $1,200 to $3,000. To maintain the service and loyalty that Goyard has with its customers, you need to go to the physical stores since the products on the website are not sold, but you can see the personalization of the desired product. Now that we gave a brief history, let's talk more in depth by asking the question of how does Goyard create value? It transfers information to a limited audience who could be people with high acquisitive power. Also, its characteristics are the importance of Goyard, durability, and designs over time, and to focus on creating awareness. Secondly, it translates a clear message to understand Goyard's strategy by always keeping the print on their products the same. It is focused on making the message clear to the limited audience of opinion leaders of the market experts, from aristocrats to celebrities. Finally, it teaches its extraordinariness because its limited selling points make its products very difficult to get. The characteristics focus on explaining and clarifying the firm's approach by their exclusiveness. Regarding the location and distribution, the products of the luxury brand Goyard can only be purchased through its physical stores. There are only 35 stores around the world, of which there are five stores in Europe, six in the United States, one in Sao Paulo and 19 in Asia. Lastly, the location of its factories is a mystery and its products are manufactured in France. As a representative for the House of Goyard told Hypey Beast last year, we believe that whispering softly in someone's ears is not only more elegant, but also much more efficient than screaming at the top of one's lungs. Goyard successfully appeals to luxury and intrigue with this strategy, which revolves around mystery, emphasizes craftsmanship and heritage, uses its invisibility as an advantage, and relies on word off-mouth promotion. This strategy appeals to a niche market of discerning high-income customers seeking exceptional and refined products. Interestingly, Goya didn't even have an Instagram account until 2016, which is noteworthy considering the platform's significance for designers to showcase their creations in today's era. Through limited posts and product highlights. Goyard does not post frequently on Instagram. Instead, they focus on quality over quantity, providing glimpses of their iconic handbags, trunks, and other items. The posts often feature close-up shots and product details. Moreover, Goyard deviates from the traditional practices of the fashion industry. They do not organize fashion shows or extravagant product launches. 
The brand refrains from conventional advertising and lacks major promotional campaign. When it comes to public relations, Goyard maintains a strict policy of not engaging directly with the press. Goyard's marketing strategy is based on differentiation by offering a unique and exclusive high-quality product by striking a delicate balance between age, old techniques and modern sensibilities. The brand creates products that seamlessly fuse classic and modern style. Goyard adopts a focused strategy by aiming to dominate a specific niche market within the luxury industry. Rather than pursuing a broad customer base, Goyard concentrates its efforts on capturing the attention and loyalty of a distinct target market. This deliberate narrowing of focus allows Goyard to allocate resources effectively and tailor its offerings to meet the unique needs and preferences of this specialised market segment. By striving to dominate this specific niche market, Goyard aims to assert its leadership position, foster customer loyalty and maintain a competitive advantage by catering precisely to the unique desires and expectations of its specialised customer base. Goyard's three main competitors are Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Chanel, Prada and Gucci. Some similarities are that they focus on craftsmanship, meaning that each brand invests considerable time and effort into creating high-quality products that exhibit meticulous attention to detail. In addition to their emphasis on craftsmanship, both Goyard and its competitors understand the importance of personalization in the luxury market, as well as premium materials. Goyard and its competitors utilize fine materials in their products, such as leather and... Some differences are that they have a unique design aesthetic, such as their hand-painted products with their discrete chevron pattern, as well as their reversible models that give the option to switch from a colour scheme to a pattern. Due to their uniqueness, Goyard's products are not mass-produced, but rather carefully crafted in limited quantities. In contrast, many of Goyard's competitors choose to change their designs regularly to align with evolving fashion trends and consumer preferences. As well as Goyard's branding and logo prominence, stands out by maintaining its logo in every design. It expresses the brand's heritage and reputation by maintaining the design throughout its brand history. Now we ask the question, why does Goyard have few stores and most of them are in Asia? Goyard wants to remain exclusive by only offering its traditional products to the customers that visit its physical store. The company remains mysterious even nowadays due to its distribution strategy. As we said before, Goyard operates exclusively through a highly limited network of stores. They have just 35 stores worldwide. The country where they have the most stores is in Asia, with 19, with 90. We have developed the following reasons that have led to the growth of this trend. The luxury culture in Asia has experienced rapid economic growth in recent decades. We see tradition and prestige in Asia value brands with heritage and prestige. Therefore, Goyard's long history and reputation may appeal to Asian consumers looking for renowned luxury products. But lastly, millions of people visit Asia each year due to its popularity as a travel destination. Strategically opening stores in key tourist destinations, Goyard can attract both local customers and tourists searching for premium travel accessories. To conclude, Goyard has become known as a prestigious luxury brand thanks to its extensive history, exclusive distribution plan and focus on craftsmanship. Goyard's focus on differentiating itself from competitors and serving a specific market allows it to keep a competitive edge even though its small store network creates accessibility issues. Goyard maintains its appeal to discerning customers looking for exceptional and refined products by striking a delicate balance between tradition and modernity. Goyard needs to carefully navigate the competitive environment and look for ways to increase accessibility without sacrificing its exclusivity if it wants to continue to be successful. As a representative of the House, Goyard said, Luxury is a dream, and revealing too much of what goes behind the scenes would spoil the magic. And now, what do you think?